G'day there everyone, Uncle Jojo, great to see you all. So, got called over to a property just to have a look at a leaking roof. After we've done that leaking roof video, there's been quite a few people giving us a call to have a bit of a geezer at the roof. What we've got is this next door. Dun, 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 dun. It is a rented house, so it's tenanted, and they've got a water feature inside every time it rains. Come and have a look at this roof. Here what we've got is what's called a pressed metal roof and it's pressed metal in the pattern of roof tiles. But look around this skylight. Look around this skylight just here. Massive dints all the way around it. Obviously somebody's been walking around it and on the one, the next one down. The age of the press metal tile roofing, I'm not sure of. Most of the roofing that I've worked on date back to just after the war, about 1945, 1950, that have got these. They came in to cover over the top of old asbestos roof or any timber shingle roof. They're used throughout Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. And there's not many people that even have it anymore, as it's usually pulled off so that when we put on a new roof, it's corrugated iron. They work by having sheets of eight foot, which is uh, 2.4 meters approximately. And they just lay straight over the top of batten systems that were laid on top of the corrugated iron or the timber shingles. There's also ones that we've seen that have been put onto corrugated iron that's completely rusted out also. When it's like this, there's nothing wrong with it, but if you're getting leaks or water features inside your house, you'd better have a, better get a professional out to have a good long hard look at it and fix it up for you as much as they can. Another quick thing while I'm on it is these skylights haven't got any flashings coming around it. They need to have flashings coming from above and then going all the way around so that no water can get in and or get inside and go inside the wall cavities. There's a big problem there. Here, what we've also got is what's called a trough gutter. So it creates a bit of a spoon and, but look at this, the whole trough gutter is completely filled with leaves. Renders peeling off this, bit old, renders peeling off this one. If you haven't seen our facade video, check out the facade video. It's exactly about all of that kind of stuff. If you've got questions or queries about roofing, flick them over. I'll answer them for you best I can whenever I can. Thanks for watching, and like always, stay up.